Okay now, we will be talking about outputs. Okay, outputs. So, on the last video, I have shown you how to make your output fraction into a mixed fraction. For example, we have, um, we just input first a fraction here. 1 and uh, 5, 9. Okay, 5 over 9. So, it will be in a mixed fraction output. So, this your output will appear on this side. So, your input will be typed on this side. So, the above line, this line, that will be your input. On this below line, that will be your output. Because that that is how the math I.O. is set up to be. So, if you are going to change the setup, the line I.O. or the line uh zero so your your input and your output um lines will be will be the same so it will be much confusing to you okay so if we are going to uh, have our output into a fraction which has only numerator and a denominator so we just press shift set up then we'll go to the second options then two and your in your output now is converted into a fraction uh, which is only a has a numerator and a denominator now if you want your output to be a decimal so you just press this one the SD button SD and you have a decimal now if you want your function or your output to be converted into a Mix number, so mix number. So you could have that one on the going back again to the setup, or you get you just need to have shift this one shift sd so because the second function of this s to d, so meaning that would be decimal to a to a certain number. So, the second function of that one is this one. So, A, B over C, D over C. So, you can convert your um, mixed number into a fra fraction. We just say that proper fraction and proper fraction. Then, you could have that one also in vice versa. So, converting your proper fraction to improper fraction to becoming a mixed number. Okay? Then we have the a, then we have the in function. So this is the engineering function. Okay. For example, you have a output of eight point fifty six three three three. So we just have to type this number. Okay. So if you want to change this one into a fraction. So, I believe you cannot change this one to fraction, shift, okay? So, because this is a, uh, what do you call that one? I, I forgot the, uh, uh, because this is not a rational number, okay? So, you could convert that this one into a scientific notation using the engineering notation. So, the engineering notation are those um, scientific notation which is, um, an equivalent to the SI prefixes. So, we just have a short review of the SI prefixes. So, SI prefixes. So, I will just be talking about the prefixes that is useful to the exam. Okay? So, we have first the smallest. So, I believe we will start with the nano. nano then we have the micro then we have the milli then we have the centi then we could have the dc okay dc then for the larger um, prefix says so we'll begin with kilo 
then we have mega then we have giga I believe we could go as far as Terra. Okay, Terra. Okay. Now the value of this one expressed in a scientific notation. So that is for this one, this is equal to 1 times 10 to the power of negative 9. So we'll just um, have this part. So we have what the micro that is times 10 to the power of negative 6, the milli that is times 10 to the power of negative 3, the centi that is times 10 to the power of negative 2, and your DC that will be times 10 to the power of negative 1. Your kilo, so that is 1 times 10 to the power of 3. Then we have 1 times 10 to the power of 6 for your mega. Then your giga, this will be 1 times 10 to the power of 9. And your tera, that will be 1 times 10 to the power of 12. So as of now, uh, we have up to 24. I believe the the latest that I am teaching this is I prefixes I gone up up to 24 and the smallest is also negative 24 so I forgot the exact name of the prefix but usually in the exam these are the uh, useful prefixes that uh, that will be part of the exam or the prefixes that you will be encountering during the exam so we have also their symbols so we just put the symbols because usually the exam will just the units will just be typed using these symbols for nano that will be n for micro we have the greek letter mu for meli m for synthy c and for uh, d dc that will be d for kilo k small letter k for mega this is capital M or uppercase M for giga uppercase G and for Terra capital letter T okay so these are the SI prefixes so for example if I'm going to write a unit so for example 1 uh, nano farad so meaning that is equal to 1 times 10 nano is to the power of negative 9 so that is 1 times 10 to the power of 9 farad okay how for example 10000 kilo volt so this will be equal to 10 times 10 to the power of 3 volts okay or equal to 10,000 so we see mega so 10 mega ohms so that will be equal to 10 times 10 to the power of 6 ohms so that is how SI prefixes is used the main purpose of that one is to write um, to write larger quantities into simpler and smaller ones so instead of writing 10 million ohms so 10 followed by 6 zero so you can only write 10 followed by the SI prefixes then the volt the volt no the unit so that is the main purpose of the SI prefixes now going back to our calculator so in function so for example we have um, we just type here 75 divide 3 okay I believe the answer is of, we just try to have a um, a answer that is a decimal 89 divide 23 okay so we have here a, a decimal number okay okay we have this one 
Okay, 3.867. Now, if we are going to press the ing function, so this one will be converted into either a kilo, a mega, a nano, or a micro depending on the uh, on the exponent of the times 10 to the power of negative 9. So this, if you are going to press the ing function, the whole number will be converted into a scientific notation and on that scientific notation we could rewrite our answer in terms of the si prefixes for example i will be pressing the ing function so we have 3.86 times 10 to the power of zero so meaning there's no times 10 to the power of zero here so we are now this um this function or this answer is on the um, root unit or or in the unit itself so for example if the if our unit or our answer is volts so this will be 3.87 so we could round that one volts if you want to have our answer in kilo or in milli so we could have this one 3869.57 times 10 to the power of negative 3 so that will be in milli we are going to have that one in micro, so just press again ing, so this will be that one, ing. So that is in micro. If you want to have that one in nano, so that will be the in nano. So this is the function of the ing, uh, that is the engineering notation um, function of your uh, calculator. So how about if we have 7, 8, one okay so this is a whole number if you are going to have this one in kilo uh, first that will be in um, giga because the calculator will first give you the the number which has the which is which has the lowest number of um, of whole number so for example seven so this one has seven so you have only one whole number followed by uh, a dozen number of decimal okay then we have the other one so you have the this will be in mega to the power of six then this will be in kilo then you have the root number or the root one so that is will be the limit so if the if your answer has a has a milli on it or ha, ha, milli now has a decimal on it so the ing function will go directly to the prefixes which are in the uh, what's call it one in the centi milli micro nano and dc portion or in the uh, in, this is the lower scale so going to the lowest uh, lowest value of the uh, exponent or, or in the negative exponent scale of your si prefixes if your answer is a whole number then the ing function will go to the highest si pre prefix it has up to the lowest so for example if it starts with a uh, tera then as you press your ing function it will go from tera to giga mega kilo then it will end up to your root unit Okay, so that is the ing function or the engineering function. Okay, so that is how you um, you program or you present your output in a calculator, so that you will it will be much easier for you to understand your answer on your calculations. Okay. So in the next part of video, so we will be now talking on the techniques itself, no? The techniques itself. So we'll be talking about the purpose of a this one, the colon. Then the purpose of the ship solve function. Then the purpose of the alpha, this one, alpha. Then how will you store or recall your answers? Then also the purpose of the cover of your calculator okay the unit conversion okay so thank you for watching this video